Hey everybody and welcome to another Project Solmoid Mapping 101. Now in the last video we actually put our world into the game and we were able to run around. But now I will show you guys how you can actually make your map be part of the actual map instead of it being on its own. Now if you go to map.projectzomboid.com I will provide a link for you guys in the description. As always you will find this image. Of course credits to the creator Blind Coder. Uh, he put a lot of work into this and it's it's pretty cool. I think all the mappers use it and we do really appreciate it. Um, to get back to the point, we need this to designate where our map's going to be because we need to have some sort of a di direction or co coordinates to actually work with. Now the moment we, at the moment where we are placing our map is at zero, zero. If we open the coordinates, zero, zero is somewhere, somewhere there. So that's way off in the distance and it's, it's never going to be connected to the actual map. So we are going to look for a spot that we think is viable for our map, then change our map a little bit and then try to put it into the actual world instead of in the nothingness up there. Now to do that, I've already t taken a peek and looked for a cell that is kind of, uh, you know, suitable for the map that we already created. So I don't have to and do a lot of changes. Of course, I'll have to change a couple of things, but not too, not too much. So I've set on this cell uh, 37 by 27, and you can kind of see the cell lines here, which is not too bad because in game you will never notice. And it's right next to this little um, diner and tank gas station. Um, yeah, so we're gonna put our map here. Um, as you can see, if I move the mouse, you can see that the cells change, and then the rel number changes as well. Now that this one's going to be important because we're going to use this one to line up the map. That's basically just the number of the tile on the map. You can see it goes up and down and up and down. They go left and right and top to bottom. Now we are going to try and align our map, which we have open here to the best of our well capabilities to this map. And of course, it's not going to fit exactly. But I'm not too worried about that. I didn't spend too much time and hopefully you haven't because I kind of want to make these videos so you can watch them in one go and kind of know what you're doing before you jump in. And I'm, I'm not expecting you to do exactly what I'm doing here. So, so let's see. Uh, let's see. We go to number 224, 25, 225, 225 is actually road 224 is still grass so we're going to work with that and we're going to see it's 232 is the last one so we're going to go to our map i am going to go to the regular layers and i am going to select the road real quick and just hide all the other stuff what did i just say i forgot already so i'm going to go back to 25 all right so we're going to drag this out we're going to see where 225 is I have my pixel counter on the bottom. And that is where 225 is. So I'm gonna draw a line there to see if that is the road. Now we're gonna to go to 232 as well. Get almost there, there we go. And we're gonna draw another line there. That gives us a good indication of where the road is gonna be. So I'm gonna select all of my layers and just move them down. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the vegetation. I'm gonna select everything. I can move them when I hide them so I don't like see what I'm doing. We're gonna line that up. Now we're gonna, again, draw out the grass a little bit and then not too worried about all the stuff up there. Oh, oh, oh almost fucked up. Go back to pencil tool, make it hard edges, don't create issues for myself. I am going to draw out a couple more spots like that. And then of course for the vegetation map, we're going to have to do the same thing. Again, you don't need to worry too much about it. You can just quickly kind of fill it in like so. And this one should be fine. 
All right, height to vegetation, the zombie spawn line. I'm just gonna get, keep that the same. I'm not too worried about that. That's all good. And then the water, I am gonna get rid of it a little bit so it doesn't create a hard edge on the corner or on the edge of the map. Create the pencil tool and just take it off a little bit. That's kind of ugly. A little bit more effort into it. That might be something like that. I'm gonna save this out. And actually name it. Save it as the tutorial image. Go to this one and then save this one out as vegetation image. I'm gonna go to the world editor and I'm gonna of course again do this. Replace it. Hit OK. Oh, and I actually I, I put two ugly buildings down. I'm gonna remove them real quick, and I am going to move the perfect. I'm, I'd like to spawn in the middle of the road there. As you can see, we just moved everything over, and it worked just fine. It's because we have nice layers. It's easy to fix stuff that we want to change, and I'm gonna save this out. I'm gonna now go back to the world. Go to generate lots. And then again, generate it. Now the only thing that we're gonna change is the world origin. An origin is the X and Y of where the top corner or the top cell of your map is gonna be. Now, as we just explained in the beginning, zero, zero is somewhere up there. And 37, 32 is right here. So we're gonna select 37 by 32. No, wait, 37 by 27. That was my bad. And hit OK. I'm going to generate my lot. Great, it still works. And then, of course, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. So I'm going to browse to my project file. Oh, and of course, you need to also replace the spawn points and the objects because it, it, it's changed. And you don't want things to be messed up. Now, the files that have been created have been named 37 by 30 or 37 by 27 instead of 00. That's because it's now a different tile. Just to completely get rid of the confusion, I'm going to delete the other parts and I am going to copy these into the file and then I'll load it up into the game. Let's move this aside for a second, open another explorer window, go to the mod that I use for this, my map test mod, media, maps, tutorial maps, get rid of these real quick and paste in the new ones and don't forget to get your object and spawn point in there otherwise you're going to spawn in an empty map and that's not too good. Now with these I'm going to open up Steam, open up the game and see where we are at. Now we can actually look at our map, there's a whole bunch of zombies so I'm going to run the other way. And if I'm lucky, there should be a different map or a different cell connected on the edge. And then if we run for a little bit more, we should run into the little, I wouldn't call it a town, the pit stop, uh, the gas station and the, the Spiffo's restaurant that's over there. Now. I think I did a good job on lining up the roads because they seem to line up perfectly. It's quite clear there is an edge here between the two cells, but I did a I, I did a decent job. So you can. And there we go. It was a bit of a, a bit of a jog, but we're here. We made it, and our map is now connected to the real world. We can maybe even be lucky and hop into the van right here and take off anywhere we'd like. Am I really going to be this lucky? No, of course not. Now, quick shout out to my patron on Patreon. Uh, I really appreciate it as always. Thank you very much. If you like these videos, consider liking and subscribing. And I hope you have a very, very nice day. Thank you for watching.